Man, this is a humongous beast. Okay, and how am I gonna do this? Do we know? I don't know. If I can't figure it out, I don't know who will. <laughs> Let's see. That's not so intuitive. All right. All right. What do you say we drive, huh? Okay. I'm scared to drive this car. I kind of am. <laughs> yeah, that's why I didn't drive it. <laughs> but you'd figure for a larger car like this that it would actually have a larger wheelbase, and it, it seems like the turning is actually fairly uh, compact in terms of the steering. It's like big on the inside without feeling too big, at least from the driver's side. When I was driving that Silverado yesterday, I felt like I was in like behemoth. <laughs> I felt like I like I'm munchkin. <laughs> the Hummer, um, you know, uh, in terms of steering, great. Box actually, <laughs> um, actually, I think that uh, it's not the the most. Uh, cushiest on the bumps that I've felt so far. I mean, some people really like to feel everything under their hineys, but uh, <laughs> I kind of like to I, I kind of like to float a little bit. In a car like this too, I would think I would think that you would just be like suspended in like a cloud, you know. But you can really pretty much feel the grip of the road, um, uh, as well as the obstacles on the road. And uh, I'll be interested, but there's a part of the track coming up where it's just all bumps, so. And in terms of the pickup, um, it def definitely takes a little bit more. I noticed that on the, um, on the Saturns, the pedals were very, very sensitive in terms of, like, even if you just kind of, uh, nudged on the, on the gas and tried to pump it up just a little bit, it was, uh, definitely more sensitive. Whereas I thought like the Saab and the Cadillac were both a little bit more evenly spaced, gave a little bit more uh, leeway. That's a far way to reach for the, the rear picture. Of course I am short. <laughs> that doesn't help. Yeah, for me I feel like there should just be, I don't know, I feel like it should be, I guess I know this is like kind of like a military based car, but Say if you had a pack of large dogs or kids, I think that would probably be, be, be uh, really good. The turning on this is actually better than I thought it would be. The turning radius, um, the stopping and starting, fairly decent. Can be it's a little low gear compared to smaller cars, but I kind of expected that. Um, the visibility is actually quite good. I thought it was actually uh, a little bit better than the Silverado that I drove yesterday in terms of looking over uh, the front. The front hood which is important when you're parking it definitely um in general great car i don't know if it's a city car but uh it was definitely fun to drive <laughs> <laughs> all right thank you you're